Hey sisters. So I'm going to be honest. I'm not really feeling it today. I can't really pinpoint why, but I felt like I needed to do a video because I'm sure there's somebody out there among my sisterhood who is also not feeling it. Um, we're in 2021, but 2020 is still with us. So if you are feeling a little out of place, or a little emotional, just know that your sister Char may not be with you presently, but she is with you in spirit. Um, and she's giving you a virtual hug. So last night I had this dream that I posted this video and it went super great. Um, and I didn't sound awkward. And it was going better than this one is. <laughs> I feel like I'm always too hard on myself when it comes to videos. And a lot of times I'm at a loss of words. But I did want to do a video, regardless of how I'm feeling, to reach out to my sisters. It is Women's History Month. And I wanted to drop some facts in your lap that you may not have known about about women's history. So one fact that I came across, or one story, was about a trailblazer named Claudette Colvin, who at 15 years old was arrested on March 2nd, 1955, for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger. Now, if you're a history buff, then you probably know this happened nine months before Rosa Parks. I remember learning about Rosa Parks in school uh, as, part of the, of, as part of the civil rights movement. Uh, also learned about um, my, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, other trailblazers um, that other trailblazers that helps build the country the way it is today. Uh, so I thank them so much for their duty and their sacrifice, their blood, sweat, and tears, uh, because I feel all of that has made the women in your lives today the strong and brave souls that they are. So I tip my hat to you, Claudette. Uh, the link to this article, just so you know I'm not making it up, <laughs> is going to be on the Facebook page. It's also going to be on the website, callmysister.com. If this is the first time you've seen my video blog about the about callmysister.com, head on over, check it out. We also have a YouTube page, which this will be on. Um, another thing I wanted to do in this video is because we are celebrating Women's History Month, I wanted to talk about a woman that is close to me, a woman that inspired me. Um, you never know who touches your life, who will be the ones to make it better. Um, and this woman in particular, we met in high school, became best friends super fast. We're still friends to this day. Uh, and like all my friends, that I call sisters, bringing up the call your sister momentum. Um, I want to honor her and what she's done for me. So just to share a little story for you. So this can looks like a regular can, you know, something you put trash in. But this can means so much more to me. So my bestie in high school, she had a quote of a day. Every single day, without fail, this girl was committed, let me tell you. So she was a year younger than me. Came time for me to graduate. And she asked me what I wanted for my graduation present. So I told her the only thing I wanted was a quote can. And do you know that she did exactly what I asked her to do? 
which, you know, in high school, that's normal. But as you get older, it's not so normal. A little to the top. So I want to honor her and my sisters by opening one of the quotes. Let's see what we have. Persistence is the key. Determination, hard work, and good intentions are all brought together with persistence. Joe McCullough. It's like I just dug deep and knew exactly what I needed to pick out of that jar. Um, I haven't read from the quote jar in years. It sits on the same place it has sat since I'm in, I was in high school, my dresser. But I want to start using it more. And if you are watching, Bestie, it means a lot to me even to today. Because words have always meant something to me. And the fact that you sacrificed your time to do something so simple as giving me a quote jar, I'll never get rid of it. So, in saying that, I want you to do one thing that honors your sister. Bake cookies. Watch a TV show. Jam out to your favorite song. Whatever it is with your sister, be it your neighbor, your blood sister, your best friend, I want you to do that. And share your experiences with me because that's what I want. That is what Call Your Sister is about. Now, I know because of COVID, you can't physically share it, but I want to hear your stories. There's Zoom. There's House Party. There's tons of apps that you can use to... Get that closeness with your sister. Um, I personally have a group of females that I do Zoom at least once a month. Uh, it just feels weird if I can't see their faces. But share your stories and let me know what you think. And remember, you can always call your sister.